I've talked about a lot of powerful strategies on this channel, very exciting strategies. However, there's a lot of people that want to start investing, but they don't have 100,000, 50,000, 20,000, and maybe not even 10,000 to start this process. So stick around because in today's video, I'm going to show you a very powerful strategy that is somewhat of a secret or unknown to most traders and almost all beginners that will allow you to rapidly grow your account in the beginning to six figures. That's right, $5,000 to $100,000 very consistently and relatively quick. And if you have $10,000, you can cut the time in half. So let's get started. Let me show you this very powerful leveraging strategy to grow your portfolio faster than you even thought possible. Hey guys, Corey here. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time, be sure to subscribe. Tap the bell so you know when I post new videos. And if you could give me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it as it helps the channel grow. We're getting ready to hit 5,000 subscribers. So thank you so much to everybody who watches this channel. And be sure to check out my newsletter as it's absolutely free right there on the screen and link in the box below for you to sign up. The first 100 people that sign up to my newsletter from this video are going to get free trade alerts in addition to the tips, strategies, and upcoming news on my channel delivered right to your mailbox. We're making money. High five. If you guys join the newsletter, you can make the profits. Everybody that that you see on the screen is making with Soundhound, Rivian, Hymns, Palins here, SoFi, Neo, all kinds of profits. All you guys got to do is sign up for the newsletter. And I'm going to be launching my full Discord and my full training course in the next few weeks. Very limited spots available. So if you guys want to learn everything that I know and everything I've learned in the last seven to 10 years, growing your portfolio from wherever it's at now and getting it to six figures, you're going to want to take this course because I'm going going to teach you guys everything I learned on my journey from 13,000 to six figures and how I scaled that six figures to seven figures. And now I make consistent income monthly without even having to worry about finances. So let's dive right into the video today. But first, I just want to point out that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I am just here to teach you strategies, tips, and all kinds of fundamentals, technicals, and financials. So this way you guys can understand the market better. However, it's ultimately up to you you to decide which stocks you want to get into and how much of a position you want to open in each of those stocks because ultimately it's your money. Today's strategy I want to teach you guys is about compounding wealth. You might want to think of this as the ultimate behemoth of strategies that you can implement in your portfolio to encroach it to six or seven figures. And what I mean by this, Warren Buffett, the richest man in the world, or at least one of the richest men in the world, grew his portfolio in the safe strategies of compounding wealth or compounding. This is the most secure, safest, and consistent way to grow your portfolio. Dividends plays into that safe, consistent compounding wealth and growth strategy section. However, today we're not talking about dividends. Today, I'm going to show you a strategy that is so powerful, you will not believe that it's even possible. And it 100% is because I've done it. And that's how I grew from six figures to seven figures. I went from 120 thousand to well beyond seven figures using compounding wealth. It is a very remarkable strategy and I'm going to show you how you do that and we're going to utilize margin. If you've ever heard of margin, it is very tricky and you have to understand margin to use it and most brokerages will give you different rates. However, they're fairly consistent on the rules of margin. Margin allows you to hold 50% of the cash to get into a position, meaning if you wanted to buy raw Robinhood at $17 a share, $1,700 for 100 shares. You would only need $850 cash in your brokerage in order to buy the full 100 shares because you only need 50% of the 1700 meaning that if you put $850 into your brokerage account, your buying power is actually $1,700. We can use this as a leverage to grow faster because every time we grow to say 10,000, we now have 20,000. We grow to 12,000 
sales and we now have 24, allowing us to consume more stocks quicker to sell more covered calls. We're not gonna be talking about selling puts in this strategy. We're just gonna utilize our starting point of $5,000 and margin, and we're gonna grow rapidly in the first three years. And then we're gonna use the fourth and fifth year to grow even faster. And we're gonna use the fifth and sixth year to pay off the margin with the stocks we purchased with margin. So by the time you get to the sixth year, you're gonna owe nothing to margin, but you're gonna be sitting well into six figures. And we do this by using compounding. We're gonna use margin with the first $5,000 over time to collectively generate passive income and then use that income to combine with margin to buy more stocks to make more passive income. And it's gonna turn into a snowball effect. The first six months will be somewhat slow. The second six months, by the time you hit the one year mark, you start growing. The second year starts to become pretty rapid. And the third year starts to really rapidly increase your profits. And the fourth and fifth year grow exponentially. And then you end up paying your margin off. Anything that you deposit into your brokerage is basically doubled. If you put $100 in, your buying power is 200. So every time you sell a covered call for $20, your brokerage buying power is now $40. So I'm going to show you with $5,000 how it turns into $10,000 to start. And if you make a certain X amount of money that month, it's doubled because when you collect premiums, juicy premiums for selling covered calls, they're doubled in buying power. So we're going to use leverage of margin to use compound growth over time. And you can go from 5,000 to 100,000 pretty darn quick. Let me show you exactly how we're going to do this. The key here is you got to pick a pretty good stock that's somewhat stable. Otherwise, you could be getting in and out of stocks a little bit quicker than you would want, which is not a big problem. But generally speaking, you want something that's going to have volatility between 50 and 70%. We could use something higher like Robinhood has right now. It's 75, 80, 90% volatility or higher, and you could grow faster. But when you get assigned and you lose your shares, then you got to find a new stock to get into. It's not the end of the world. You could do it, but I'm going to show you how powerful this strategy is on Lyft. And if you're doing it on Robinhood or Wayfair or other stocks like that, you can make even more money. Like Affirm is a really good candidate. However, Lyft is the best candidate right now because it's just about as stable as American Airlines. However, there's about 30 to 40% more premium. So it's a much better stock. Let me show you exactly what compounding wealth is, and then we'll come back to the options chain. Okay, so now we're looking at Lyft and the stock price is $16.62. We want to sell a call that's about 81% or a 25 delta because we want to consistently bring in 5% a month, which is very safe, very good. And we can see the stock price is 16.62, 10% would be $166. 5% would be about 83. On this covered call, we would make about 17. So that is, that's about $68 a month. It's about four and a half, 4.8%. So we're going to do 17 to $18. And I like to sell my covered calls on Fridays going to the next week. So I'm getting a full week. So this would have been $20. So you close it out for a dollar on Friday, roll to the next Friday, collect 20, which is 19. So you're making 19 to $20 a week. We're going to put $20 a week in because that's what I've been collecting. I just didn't open this contract. I have a bunch of contracts. I did not open this previous Friday, but that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you how you compound your wealth. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start. So we've got $5,000 to start. You turn margin on your brokerage is going to give you the equivalent because it's 50%. So you have a $10,000 buying power for shares only. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy 1650. So we're going to buy 600 shares of Lyft at $1,650. This is $9,900. Okay. $9,900 is what this is going to cost. But now we have 600 shares of Lyft. We're going to do this for three months. Okay. We're going to sell six covered calls at $20 per week. So we're going to make $120 per week. $120 per week times four weeks of the month. And this is going to equal $480. So the first month we made $480. We're going to times this by three months. This is going to give us $1,440. Okay. Now we're going to times that by two. 
which is $2,880 because that's our buying power with margin now. Because now that we're adding this cash into the account, which is what Juicy Premium is, is going to put us at a buying power of $2,880. So now we can buy another 100 shares of Lyft. So now we take the $2,880 and we minus $1,750 and we're left with $1,130. Okay? So we have $1,130 left over from month three and now we have 700 shares of lift so we're going to erase this now remember this take notes we're only finishing up with month three now we are going to sell on month four five and six we are going to sell seven contracts at twenty dollars which is 140 a week times four weeks equals $560 per month times three months, $1,680. Then we got to times that by two because our brokerage is giving us margin times two, and this is $3,360. Now we've made that, but we have to add the 1130, which is $4,490. So let's say Robinhood's gone up $17.50. You can now buy two more contracts or 200 more shares, and that leaves you with a balance of $990. So this is now gone. So now, month six, we have $990 left over, but we now have nine available contracts we can sell because we now have 900 shares of Lyft. Make sure you're writing this down because I'm gonna keep erasing all of this stuff to keep it clean. Okay, so month six now, we have $990 buying power in our brokerage. We now have nine contracts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell nine contracts at $20 equals 180 a week times four weeks equals $720 a month times two. We now have $1,440 buying power after one month times that by three we now have forty three hundred and twenty dollars plus we add the 990 so our buying power is five thousand three hundred and ten dollars so now we can buy 300 more shares of lift at seventeen dollars and fifty cents leaving us month six with ninety dollars buying power but now we have 1200 shares of lift three more months to go to one year so make sure you guys are taking notes this is very powerful stuff so now we have 1,200 shares of Lyft. So we're gonna sell 12 contracts at $20 a week, $240 a week times four per month, $960 a month. So our total buying power is $1,920 at the end of the first month. We times this by three. And by the 12th month, we now have $5,760 plus the 90 which is 5850. Now you can buy different stocks. It doesn't have to be Lyft. This is just to keep it simple. So this way you guys can understand how powerful this strategy is. So now you're gonna buy 300 more shares of Lyft at $18 a share because Lyft has now went up again. So let's just say that. And you're left with $450. So at the end of the 12th month, end of the 12th month, you have $450, okay? So you now have 1,500 shares. Make sure you guys are taking notes here so your count's now at twenty seven thousand dollars at the end of the first year of course that's also including your margin but you are currently holding twenty seven thousand dollars in stock which means even if you sell all that off your account's going to have close to 14 grand so you go from five grand to 14 grand almost a triple return the first year so even if you take margin completely out at the end of the first year you went from five grand to 15 grand with a very passive safe strategy by the end of the second year you're going to have over 25 30 grand in there even if margin didn't exist. So let's look at this. So we now have 15 contracts starting the 13th month. 15 contracts times $20 a share, $300 times four equals $1,200 times two, 2,400 margin the first month. Three more months, 7,200 plus the 450, 7,650. This is our buying power. We now buy 400 shares of Lyft at $1,900 per 100 shares because Lyft went up again, leaving us with $50. So now we bought another 400 shares. So we now have 19 contracts or 1,900 shares. And so we're only going to have $50 left over. $50 
on month 15. Okay, you guys following? We're getting ready to encroach on a year and a half here. All right. We got 19 contracts times $20. And I'm doing this all long drawn out version so you guys completely understand. 380 a week times four weeks. $1,520 times two equals 3040. That's how much buying power you now have the first month. We're going to times this by three. So now we're at the 18 month mark. You now have $9,120 plus 50. So we're just going to do 9170. This is your buying power. So we're going to buy 400 more shares of Lyft, which is going to give us 2,300 shares. And we're going to be left with $1,570, which is good. You want a little bit of money in your brokerage account when you're using margin. So we're going to have 1570 at month 18. That's what's left over, okay? If you're confused, I really apologize. I'm trying to put it all out there for you. So now we have 23 contracts. 23 times 20 equals, I'm just doing this on my calculator, $460 so I can make it really fast for you guys. Times four weeks, $1,840. It's a scribbly eight, $1,840 times two. Your margin balance increases by $3,680. We're gonna times this by three, so $11,000. $40 plus the 1570 equals 12,610. That's your buying power right now at the end of the 21st month. All right. So we are going to buy 600 shares of Lyft again at $19.50 because Lyft went up. This is going to leave us with a balance of $910 on month 21. 2,900 shares of Lyft. So 29 contracts times 20, 580 per week times four weeks equals 2,320 times two. Your margin increases 4,640. That's how much of a margin increase we now have in the first month. So technically at the end of this month, we can now buy almost 200 more shares, which will actually create more growth. I'm doing it in three month increments to make it more simple. But at the end of this month, you're gonna buy 200 more shares. You're now gonna have 31 contracts. And the next month, you're gonna make $400 with a margin buying power more in just one month. So believe me, even though I'm doing three month increments, this is really conservative. You are going to make much more than this. You're probably gonna have 10 to 20% faster growth than what I'm even gonna be making in this video. This is just to keep it simple because right now, every month you're gonna have 200 more shares of Lyft. And after a half a year, every month be adding 400 more shares. It's just rapid exponential growth. This is the first month times that by three. We're now at the two year mark. Your buying power is 13,920, but we're gonna now add 910. 14,830. So here we go. $14,830 at the 24th month. Lyft is now at $20 a share. So we're gonna buy 700 more shares of Lyft. 24 months leaves us with $830 margin balance, but we're now gonna get another 700 shares of Lyft which means we now have 36 contracts starting at the end of the second year. 36 contracts times 20. It's now $720 a week times four weeks, 2880 times two. Your margin balance in one month increased 5760. So at the end of this month, which is the 25th month, one month, your buying power is almost six grand in one month. We're going to times it by three because we're going in three month increments. However, you can see right here, you're going to add 300 more shares of Lyft in just that one month alone. So the next month, is gonna increase by almost $600 in buying power. So it's gonna be growing way faster exponentially than even what I'm illustrating. Mine's a really conservative approach. So in three months at the 27 month mark, we have $17,280. So we are going to buy 800 more shares of Lyft, which is gonna give us 44 contracts. And at the 27th month, it's going to leave us with $1,280. 27th month, $1,280. 44 times 20 equals $880 times four. Gives us 3520 at the end of the month times two for buying power. 7,040 at the end of the first month. We times that by three. 
And that gives us $21,120 buying power with margin. Then we add the $1,280, and our buying power is now $22,400 buying power. So we're going to buy another 1,000 shares of Lyft, which is going to leave us with $1,400. So month 30, $1,400. That's going to give us 54 contracts. I'm sure you guys are already seeing what I'm talking about now. 54 times $20 equals 1,080 times 4. 43.20 times 2. At the end of this month, $8,640 margin buying power increase, meaning you can now buy stocks up to that amount of value in that one month alone. We're going to times three. We now have 25920 You guys can add this in your calculators. We're going to add 1400 to that because that's what's left over right here again. We now have $27,320. Okay, this is going to be month 33. We're going to the last six months for the third year. We're going to buy another 12 contracts of Lyft. Lyft went up. It's now $22 a share, just hypothetically, which leaves us with $920. But we now have another 12 contracts we can sell. We now have 6,600 shares of Lyft. Let's see where this takes us. 66 times 20 equals 1320 a week times four weeks. 5280 times two. Our buying power goes up by 10,560 in this month. Then we times that by three. Make sure you're sitting down for this one. This gives us $31,680 buying power plus the 920, which is $32,600 buying power right now at the end of the 36 months. So now we're at 36 months, three years. All right, that's where we're at right now, 32,600. And Lyft is at $24 a share. So we're gonna buy 1,300 more shares of Lyft, giving us 79 contracts and leaving us with $1,400. Nice little margin buffer right there. Okay, so we have 79 contracts, which is 7,900 shares. Just so you guys know the math on that at $24, roughly, it's $189,000 account balance. You guys can do it right now in your calculators. 7,900 shares by $24 is $189,000. Even if we did 7,900 shares at $18 where it's at right now and Lyft never goes up, we run the strategy, but Lyft never really goes up. It's 142,000, okay? Half of that is margin. So if you sold half of your shares right now at the three-year mark to pay all of the margin off, you divide 142 42 by two. You now have $71,000. You went from five grand to 71 in three years. Now that's all well and good, but we're going to use the fourth year, very powerful strategy here, and we're going to use it to pay back margin. So 79 contracts times $20 a week is 1580 a week times four is 63.20 a month. We're not gonna go further with this strategy because realistically 12 grand a month is how much buying power we're gonna have. We're gonna be able to add like 600 shares or more of Lyft every single month at this point. It's gonna be exponential. However, we wanna pay off the $70,000 margin we have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna collect $6,300 a month in actual cash, not including margin, and that's gonna pay the margin value down. So how many months will this take? Let's do 12 months times 63.20. $75,840. So let's just say you don't make as much. You got to roll some calls out, whatever. Sell some of your shares. At the end of the first year, we're making this per month times 12 months. This is your number. And the only thing you really owe on margin is about 71, 72 grand. So now you're 3,000 in the positive, okay? So you own 7,900 shares of Lyft. Let's just say they're at $19, which is relatively where they're at right now. $19 times 7,900. So 150 grand. You paid your margin off, so now you're at the 48-month mark. Right at the end of the 48th month, you used your whole covered call premiums from the year, all the covered calls, paid 75 grand total, paid off all your margin. 100%, if everything I said is how it worked out, your margin is completely gone and paid off. 75 grand worth, you're left with about three grand. So you have $150,000 because you have 7,900 shares. And 7,900 times 18 is this number here. 
But then you have to also add on the $3,000 extra you made after paying off margin. This could be a buffer and we could just say that never happened just to cover any rolling, whatever. Okay, cool. Then we'll even take a $10,000 deduction in case you had to do something else. Don't know what that might be. $140,000. Five grand, 5K to $140,000 in four years. What would you make on $140,000? Well, the 7,900 shares you have a lift and lift's not even the juiciest premium out there. So now going forward, this is what you're gonna be bringing in. About $1,580 a week times four weeks. You're bringing in $6,320 a month, not including any margin. You just paid margin off. Remember at this point, your account's 150 grand. So your buying power right now is about 300K minus the stocks that you're in. So you realistically have 150,000 in buying power. So you could realistically turn this if you wanted to use up more of your margin again, and you could be at $12,640 a month income, which in turn every month would give you 24,000 more in buying power, but we're not gonna get into all that confusing stuff. If you decided you don't wanna use margin anymore, this is what you have. And if you're wondering what margin costs, that's all gonna be inclusive with that $3,000 extra that we paid off at the end of the year paying margin off. Plus we took 10 grand off the 150 and left you with 140. That's well gonna cover margin because margin is not that expensive. So realistically 5K to 150K in four years even if it takes five years, but it won't. Three years of compounding, the fourth year you pay margin completely off. Now you don't owe anything to margin, but you can keep going with the margin. I'm doing that. I mean, I still use lots of margin even with my seven figure account, but this is the key here. Now, margin doesn't cost very much. It's only about 7% per year annual, and you're gonna be utilizing around 70 grand of margin at peak. So $70,000 times 0.07, it's about 4,900 a year, and you're gonna divide that by 12. You're only gonna be paying about $408 a month in margin. Now, that's gonna be added on to what you owe. It's gonna add on to your margin balance, but it doesn't mean anything because at the end of the third year, you're bringing in six grand, so this is not gonna mean anything. It isn't gonna be this much at the beginning. In the first six months, you're only gonna have 5,000 in margin, which is only 350 a year. Your first year, you're only gonna be paying $20 a month in margin. So it scales with what you make. So you pay 29, but you made 400 a month. By the time you're paying 400 a month, you're bringing in six grand a month so you scale with the margin this is very powerful stuff and i'm telling you i've done it i scaled my portfolio from 200k to 600k and i did this in less than a year with some of my other strategies like a year and a half very easy then i paid margin off and now i'm well over seven figures like very easy strategy if you guys want to implement your portfolio 5k to 150k in four years. If you want to do this really fast and turn 5K into 150K in six months, that's for a casino. My way is the safe way. If you start with 25K, then this is going to end up around 500K plus in four years quite easily. You can see how powerful using margin is. Don't be scared of using margin because it scales with you. For the first three months, it's only going to be $20 or $30 a month, which you're already going to be making $500 a month. By the time you get to $2,000 a month, it'll be $200 a month. And by the time it goes to $400 a month, you're going to be making six to eight grand a month. And then you just sell covered calls in your fourth year. Don't buy any more shares and just keep using all the covered calls to pay off your margin. You'll notice every month your margin balance goes down from 71 to 65 to 59 to 53. Every month it's just going down because all the covered calls that you're selling are paying off your margin and by the end of the fourth year you're left with 7900 shares to lift give or take could vary between i guess 7000 8000 shares but you're left between 130 and 160 thousand dollars roughly around 140 to 150 but this is a very big increase so four years, you start with 5K, you added no money out of your pocket, and you're sitting at 150,000. A few things could go wrong. Lyft could go bankrupt, very unlikely, but you have to watch your portfolio. If Lyft goes down at $15, then you just sell $16 calls. And if it continues to drop, then you'll just liquidate all of your shares and then take that money and go into a different stock. Because at that point in time, you lost about 30% of your return. But if that happens the first year in, you realistically are still gonna be well into the 15 to $20,000 mark. And just 
just start over on a different stock, but this is unlikely. You could do this on American Airlines. It would take an extra year because the premiums aren't as good. You could do it on Robinhood, maybe a little less time because it's more volatile, but a little more risky. Lyft is a good company. And if they keep going the way they're going, it would work out like this. You could pick the stock you want that works best for you that's really safe. And if you make a little less premium, it might take five years. If you make a little more, it might take three years. But I would like to say this is a 5K to 150K in three to six years. Realistically, I did it in the four-year mark for you guys with this strategy, but it might take five years. So let's just say four to six years, 5K to 150K. Very, very good and powerful strategy. And if you start with 50K, well, then in five years, you're realistically pretty close to a million, probably 700 to 800K. So it's very powerful to use margin. If you get a margin call, that just means that your buffer, let's say buffer falls below zero and lift starts to drop, then they'll just start selling your shares to put you back in the positive. They don't take money from you. It's not how that works. If you go in the negative, say 2,000 because Lyft dropped, then they would just sell maybe 3,000 worth of shares and you'd be back in the positive 1,000. And if Lyft didn't drop anymore, you're fine. I wouldn't worry about that. Just make sure you keep about two grand positive in your brokerage account. So if you buy shares at the end of the month doing this strategy, make sure you leave at least a $2,000 margin buffer or 10% is what I like to leave. So like I said, four years to six years, 5K to 150K. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and tap the bell if you haven't already and you enjoy the content and give me a thumbs up as it greatly helps the channel. If you guys want to sign up for the newsletter, high five, we're making money. You guys can make money just like everyone else has been doing with my trade alerts because the first 100 people that sign up for my newsletter are going to get free trade alerts in addition to tips, strategies, as well as news right to your mailbox. Also, guys, I'm launching my full Discord and training course in about two weeks. Limited space available. If you want to sign up for that, email me, Corey at investwithcorey.com, or you can sign up for the newsletter and reply to it. There's going to be very limited space. If you guys want to jump in, I'm going to teach you everything I've learned in the last seven years in the stock market from 13,000 to seven figures and a lot more than what I just showed you in this video. And don't worry, guys, I know this video is over, but I found another video you're going to love, and it's going to teach you how I went from 13,000 to seven figures. And that video is right here. You guys are going to love it. Click that video right here. It's awesome. What are you waiting for? It's right there. I'll see you over there, guys. Let's grow our wealth together. Take care.